uh, flowers that have made it through uh, the fall uh, that will that will thrive until frost. We haven't had a uh, heavy frost yet. Um, we're right after. Well, this is November first, uh, right after Halloween, and um, the the temperatures are cooling off. But as far as the consistent overnight temperatures, we've it's been fluctuate fluctuating. And we've been having uh, some mild days. So the plants and uh, flowers have been doing pretty good. We have the uh, pansies on standby. And um, I'm not going to plant them yet. I'm going to wait till the temperatures cool off more. And then we have a, a consistent, um, some consistent overnight temperatures. Um, hey, things have been looking beautiful. And we're just going to let them thrive until... Till it's time to pull them now i won't wait until the ground is um frozen or anything like that i know we have a frost on the way or if we get a light frost and things start to look damaged then we'll go ahead and pull them but for now we're just gonna let them thrive as long as possible and we're gonna look at um some other things and the different ideas in this uh, in this yard hope you enjoy These are the ones on standby and I'm going to just be doing a little bit of uh, maintenance to these and keeping them pretty until we're ready to take the impatience out. Now, these white pansies are doing really good. They're nice, uh, sturdy plant and I have some smaller ones down there. Uh, I'll be going to another location, but... I'm gonna go through and uh, pluck the spent blooms. And sometimes the petals will lay on the leaf like this and stress it out. So they're soaking wet right now. It's kind of foggy out here today. Uh, we got a foggy, little fogginess going on. And I'm just gonna go through and I'll do some deadheading, uh, pinch off the spent blooms. See, this is done. And that'll encourage the encourage growth and more blooms. So while we're waiting for the uh, the impatience to finish their season, it's been kind of warm. We have a warm week coming up, so I'm gonna give them some more time uh, to finish uh, showing off. And I'll be adding in some red to uh, put with the the white pansies uh, for that install so while we're waiting for the impatience to get the full season well they're not going to get their complete full season because we'll be pulling them out before frost hits because uh, I want the roots uh, of these to establish and get strong before winter sets in and they have no problem making it through winter. You see, there's a lot of uh, blooms about to open up. Look at this. See, a lot of them, a lot more to open up. And uh, we're just going to add some red with them because she loves red and white. And we'll see how we, uh, we'll take it from there. <laughs> it's a couple days later, uh, like November the 5th. And, uh, we did get some red to add with those uh, white pansies. Um, these are going in another location. This is the matrix orange and the matrix purple. Very beautiful. Uh, these are definitely a uh, good contrast to put together because the orange uh, plays off of that yellow dot in the, in the purple. Over here we have the white that we've been keeping pretty until this time because the summer the summer flowers are still looking good in the bed that we're going to put these so she loves white and red and we were able to get these uh scarlet red which are like a really deep red and they go really nice with the white 
Uh, we have some other yellows on standby. They're going to a different location. Looking forward to using these because they're in an area that has a lot of uh, bold colors and it's off in the distance and that, that yellow really pops uh, from a distance. And we'll be uh, these have a lot of blooms that haven't opened. See here. See from here it looks like there's not many blooms going on but it's going to be flooded with blooms when we by the time we get ready to plant these they're going to be flooded with blooms like this one here looks completely empty but look look at that see and we went through checked them for pest and plucked off the spent blooms and they go really nice with the white look at that she likes that red and white uh, for Christmas and Valentine's Day. Yep, so that is the haul that we have on standby. Uh, I got 10 red here, along with like uh, 30 white, and we are ready to go. It's gonna be a couple days from now, and I'm looking forward to it. So we'll have them on standby and uh, keep them watered till they're ready to be used, uh, which is going to be like a couple of days. I'm not going to wait until the frost uh, frost date. I'm going to be installing these a few days before frost is expected. Janice is out here clipping away these uh, lower fronds to make room for more flowers in the bed. That also uh, creates better airflow and makes the gutter uh, plant green. So I'm clip those away and uh, get things looking pretty around here. Uh, we're using the matrix white and the scarlet red. Ready to put these in, but um, first we have to get rid of the uh, spent plants. Well, a lot of these flowers from a distance still look good, but it's time for them to go because the leaves are yellowing. And we gotta get things looking good for the winter and the holidays are, are on the way. So we'll be uh, clearing out these lower fronds and rolling through with some, some white and red. She loves the red and white, and I'm just gonna make some room for them. Out with the old, in with the new. These really show sure uh, if, if we leave them in, they're just going to just be a mess to uh, pull out after frost hits because they get uh, mushy. So these right here. spots in one And 
over on this side, there's a few areas that we're going to uh, fill in with more flowers. But this is what we have for now, and uh, I'm very happy with it. The pansies are going to push out some more blooms, and this is going to be beautiful. So we have the matrix white, the scarlet red. We'll be adding a few more around this tree, and we're going to be doing updates. We're going to get these nice and soaked. Soak them in. The soil will be dry. But with these, we're going to drain the soil and full sun. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Enjoy your day.